Goal of limiting global heating to 1.5 Celsius more fragile than ever, say COP27 chaired. The goal of limited global heating to 1.5 Celsius is more fragile than ever. As world leader prepares to meet for crucial climate talks, the president designated of the negotiation was warned. Sameh Shukri, the foreign minister of Egypt, who would chair the UN COP27 climate summit next month, said in a rare interview that forking agreement would be harder than at any other recent climate talks, owing to the turbulent global economy and difficult geopolitical tension. Stoked by the Ukraine war, it is more fragile because of the impact of the current global situation," he told the Guardian in an interview. He said the agreement won at COP26 in Glasgow last year has been overshadowed by events since. The circumstances for COP27 are quite challenging. They exceed the circumstances that exist in Paris or in Glasgow. In terms of the challenge and impact, economy and geopolitical, but we have to remain hopeful and focus and try to isolate and insulate the negotiating process from some of the external circumstances. He warned that rich countries were losing the trust of the developing world because they are failing behind on their commitment to cut greenhouse gas emission and provide climate finance to poor nations. If countries are backtrack or deviate from their commitments and their efforts to maintain those agreement and understanding made in Paris and Glasgow, we will be on track to have over two Celsius and maybe up to three point six Celsius, according to the science available. He said, "These are contradictions, and everyone has to be serious in dealing with those contradiction." Some rich countries, including the UK and the US and the EU member states, have turned to increasing fossil fuel production amid the energy crisis that has sent gas prices soaring. Sokri refused to single out individuals, but warned, "We are encouraging all parties to refrain from backtracking, from resorting to greater dependencies on fossil fuel." It defeat the purpose and put everyone in jeopardy and danger. It's not an incentive for developing countries who are being encouraged to transitions from fossil fuel to do so. I think one has to lead by example. Last year, COP26 talked in Glasgow, and did with country pledging to limit global temperatures increase to 1.5 Celsius above pre-industrial level. Based on comprehensive scientific assessment, showing that beyond that level, the impact of climate crisis become catastrophic, and some of them irreversible. Most country failed to set target on cutting greenhouse gas emission in line with the 1.5 Celsius limit in Glasgow. However, or put in place the policy to meet such goal. They were meant to return to the table at COP27 this year with revised plan. That's all for today. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.